be the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. Cy Young is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. So here is George Stovall. He will lead this one off today. And now the first pitch. Fouled away. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. So now to the plate, Bill Bradley. As he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little bit of an ambush. Oh, oh, heater gets turned around. To the plate now, Napoleon Ladue, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Bradley, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. He's running. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So he can't make contact there on strike three. But meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Stepping up is number one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Number 25 gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Indians leave one. Cleveland nothing. Sox coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Addy Joss gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Into the box, Harry Lord. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Batting second, 
With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. What's the key for a home win here tonight, Mark? Matty, I know this team can swing the bat. But one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases. Just being aggressive on the base pass. Putting the defense on their heels. Taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. Hess comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now it'll be Tris Speaker. First pitch on its way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the first-year shortstop, Terry Turner. Pitch on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. He'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Struck him out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Plate, Otto Hess. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion. But sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. The right field. Number nine. So now to the plate, number nine, and he's ready to take his first cuts. And the pitch. As he lifts it in the air to right field, number 32 is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Now at the plate, number 25. He'll get his Four first no shot with the off. bat here. The left fielder, number 25. Pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Hard hit ball to second. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. 
You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box, Wagner, as he puts it on the ground to third. Knee high, he barehands it. On to first to complete the double play. Batting six, the right fielder, number 32. Next to hit is number 32. He stands in for the first time in this one. Now the pitch. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Batting seven. The catcher, number 20. Into the box now, number 20, as he grounds one briskly to short. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Clark. Now into the box, Jay Clark. Here's the first pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Hey. Favorable call in there for a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Line shot to first and there's one away. Batting up, the designated hitter, number 16. Striding forward now is the DH, number 16. First trip to the plate for him in the ballgame. The pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Oh, Two gone now here in the third. Now to bat, George Stovall. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ball two now. Third inning, no score to this point. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. And it's three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Number 25 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tribe. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Stahl. So stepping in is Jake Stahl.
first pitch of the A.B. now. One of the things you want to do to get a starting pitcher out of there is make him get his pitch count up, but these guys aren't being very patient. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit to short, scooped up. And there's one away. Now with the plate is Denny Sullivan. First pitch on the way. behind 0 and 2 now bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score lifted down the line in left Turner onto the grass and that'll get down for a base hit he hit the corner and tries for third and he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, man, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield. And that time, he wanted three. Standing in now, Harry Lord as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But this will get foul for strike two. Oh, and two, here it is. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. Hey, every once in a while, this speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. At the plate now, McConnell goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. In now, Tris Speaker. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Center fielder looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center as the Red Sox open it up even further. It's now 4-0. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Stepping in now, number 25. Hit in the air down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A base hit in his first trip. The 
the 0-1 delivery. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Clark gathers, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. The batter, number 16. Striding in is Wagner. Now here's the first offering. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat, it's strike one. This pitch is popped up and a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Three innings complete. The Red Sox four, and the Indians nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Bill Bradley, and they could use a spark from him here. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A-B to get this team going. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 32 has it, and it's a quick out number one. So now into the box is Napoleon Ladue. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Now batting, number one. Next to stand in is number one. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. A ball and a strike now. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. Speaker finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. 
At the plate now is number 32. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch on its way. And there's a base hit on the line. I mean, there's no seeker right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody now, wants man. up at the plate Number right 20. now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. To the plate now, number 20. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a throw over. Runners back. The 0 and 1 delivery. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Nobody out, runner on first. And a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time is laid off and the count runs full. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Ladue has a play. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Now batting. First baseman, Jake Stahl. Next to hit, Jake Stahl. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. That very well could have been a hit run play, but that pitch was so far out of the zone, it really made it hard for the hitter to make any contact. Kind of left his teammate hung out the drive. The 1 1 home. On the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. 
Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there, Dan, was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Into the box now, Denny Sullivan. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it four to nothing. Turner. Leading off the inning, it'll be Terry Turner, and they could use a spark from him here. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Turner is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Now the 2-1. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Another try at 2-2. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now batting, left fielder, Otto Hess. So next to bat will be Otto Hess. Flew out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. All one's the count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Hey, this pitcher's been absolutely in the zone up until this point. That was a retired streak, just broken up. He had retired 12 batters in a row. That's four clean innings. Let's see if the offense gets going. So now to the plate, number nine, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
the great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer at that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. At the plate, Jay Clark, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. High in the air out to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One left for the Tribe. They trail here 4 to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Harry Lord. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. In that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone, and he handled it really nice. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. He's got it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting, number 22. And stepping in, McConnell. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. 0-1 the count. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two now gone now. Center fielder, Tris. Ready to take his hacks again. Tris Speaker lasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. In the last at-bat, that breaking ball he hit for the home run, that was one of those meatball ones. A cement mixer just kind of floated up there. I'm not so sure that they're going to go back to the breaking ball here. And if they do, better location is definitely needed. There's a slogan is throwing too many strikes. That might be the case for this guy in this outing right here. So far, not pitching all that well, but 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Hit back up the middle, fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. So now here is number 16. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. First pitch on its way. Hey. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here. Pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. 
swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Standing in now, George Stovall. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Stepping in now, Bill Bradley. Pops this one up. Stall trying to get there, and that's going to land foul. Two out, nobody on. Behind 0 and 2 now. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. They're down 4 nothing. Number 13 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 13. Now at the plate, here is number 25. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted the other way to left center. Number one is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now batting, number 16. Next to dig in, Wagner. He flew out in his last A.B. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. And he popped him up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting. Number 32. Next up, number 32. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. First pitch of the A.B. now. 
little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're in front four to nothing. In now for Cleveland, Napoleon Ladue. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to bat? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0 2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's a ball. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right no now. Matter. As we roll number through it ball. again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. In now, number one. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Swing and a miss there, and it's two and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Pitch is popped up. Stahl moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. The batter, number six, shortstop. Terry Turner. So the next to bat will be Terry Turner. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Now the pitch. 
as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two-out base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Into the box, Otto Hess. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Number 25 gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Ladies Indians leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And now in the box, number 20. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The catcher, number 20. Here's the first pitch. Now here it comes. Swing and he pops him up. And no one will get this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, the but base, that man, wasn't a great seven. pitch to do it on. Eight. It's really not the best two-strike oh. approach either. At the plate now, Jake Stahl hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second now out of the inning. The designated hitter, Denny Sullivan. Stepping in once again is Denny Sullivan. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Count one and oh. Two out, nobody on. And that one yanked just foul. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a liner. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Ready on one and two. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Solo shot to right center as the Red Sox break on top now five to nothing. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. now Harry Lord down the first baseline uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1 he's got a hit in three at bats to this point the wind up and the 0 1 and he popped him up and this is going to get down it's a foul ball bases are empty here with two men out And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. 
but add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Red Sox five and the Indians nothing. Now to the plate, number nine. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. First pitch of the A-B now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Ball. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Number 20 has it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Well, these fans have been traded to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. Up next, Jay Clark. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he lays off for ball one. One out, nobody on. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Swing and a liner. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Now that number 16. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, number 16. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, that's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Oh, and one count and the pitch.
Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Fouled off. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Here now the 2-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another 2-2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Indians go down 1-2-3. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Riding in for Boston, McConnell. Leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman, number 22. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great Speaker. approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Next, it'll be Tris Speaker grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Here's a ball hit high down the right field line. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A solo shot down the line in right. His second of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Your Fourth round tripper of the game so far. The They're missing over the heart of the plate, Number not using 17. the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happening. Number 17 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Into the box now, number 25. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Next up is Wagner. Now here's the first offering. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Two out, nobody on. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Tribe. It's the Red Sox six and the Indians nothing.
Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. George Stovall is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, that's hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here comes the one-two. Grounder down the line at third. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Standing in now, Bill Bradley. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Stovall aboard here at first with nobody out. And it's one and two. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. The one two. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first. A ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. Next, it'll be Napoleon Ladue. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt. They just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. his way to pitch number 100. This is line to left, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. Now batting, number one. At the plate, number one. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 0-1 pitch. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away, is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. Last strike now for Cleveland. Grounded to first, reined in. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 6 nothing. the final shutout score today. Boston led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Cy Young gets the W on the mound, so that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.